Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, second video of the day, I was just waiting for Giovanni Albanese to put the predicted lineup online, I was waiting for him because when Giovanni is posting about the predicted lineup, you can be 99.99% .99 sure that this will be the lineup, or at least that this is the one that Tiago Mota has in mind today, then if tomorrow morning he's changing his mind, and this is not because of Giovanni Albanese, so the lineups are out, we'll go through them, who I think deserves to play tomorrow, uh, is it the right choice of uh, Tiago Motta, yes or no, and then we go towards some latest update about Savona, about Locatelli, about uh, Di Gregorio, about Gatti, about Cambiaso, but also about the press conference, the words of Tiago Motta today to prepare the game, Juventus Torino, a derby della mole that is extremely important to win, we know it, because I repeat what I said this morning, a derby, you don't play it, you win it. So if you didn't yet, please put a maximum of like, continue to subscribe to the channel because now we start and I don't want to start first with the press conference and then with the lineup. I know that you are here because you can't wait to understand who will be the 11 men that will start the last game before the last international break of 2024. Perin, he starts in the goal. Perin, the information that Perin could start was leaked, I think, uh, earlier this afternoon. I posted it also in the Telegram group. That was the, the first um, rumor that we heard about Perin starting. Am I happy with Perin? Absolutely, yes. Look, I think that the management of how Tiago Motta is um, deciding who needs to start into goal or not is actually really, really, really good. Usually, if we are following a bit what is happening with Champions League in Serie A, the game before Champions League, it's Perin that starts, and then the game of Champions League is Di Gregorio. Except, of course, when Di Gregorio had that red card, and they reversed it, Di Gregorio in Serie A with Perin in Champions League. So normally, it, could have, it should have been exactly the same. Udinese, Perin. Now, it should have been Di Gregorio against Lille and against Torino. Derby della Mole as well, Di Gregorio. But now we change slightly, and you know why? Because the Parma game of Di Gregorio was not a good one. And there, you need to pay attention when you are speaking about goalkeepers that are a different role, different personalities as uh, players. Players, you can sit them on the bench and at the 50th minute, you can let them in, receiving a second chance without any problem or the next game or whatever. For a goalkeeper, you need to pay attention because when they lose confidence after a bad game, sometimes it's better to play them immediately to show them trust because confidence is the most important thing for a goalkeeper. So I think changing slightly the order of who started actually did really well. After Parma, bad game of Di Gregorio. Continuing him, he played against Udinese, he played against Lille, he did really well in both of the games, and now uh, he rests, well, rest, it's a big word, now rest, uh, but uh, Perin will start, he totally deserved Perin, that is a goalkeeper that could play probably as a starter in 15 of the 20 Serie A teams without any exaggeration, probably even 16 or 17. He's a really good goalkeeper. So I have absolutely no problem, I think it's a really good management and choice from Thiago Motta. Then, Four men in defense. It's always the same doubt that we have. Who is the fourth one? Because three of them are sure at the moment. Cambiaso, Calulu and Gatti. And the three of them will start. Then the question is always, where will Cambiaso start? Because if we know where Cambiaso starts, on the right, then it's Caval that is playing on the left. On the left, then it's Savona that is playing on the right. That's the only question mark that we have. Well, and especially also because Gatti, Calulu, there is one more game, then it's international break with Calulu that will stay also in La Continassa without traveling to the national team of France. So it makes totally sense that Calulu is there. But tomorrow, apparently, Savona will start. Look, last uh, Serie A game Savona played. He played really well against uh, Udinese. He also scored uh, against Udinese. So it makes totally sense that uh, he, we are giving him continuity with Cabal that is resting, Cabal that played against Lille, and he had really a tough game game against Zegrova. We all remember Zegrova. He's still here in our mind. It's a good rotation. Look, uh, the only certainty that we have is Cambiaso is always playing. Cambiaso is playing 100% of the game. He rested, I think, one game from the start and then he entered in second half, but he played all of them. Cambiaso and Vlaovic are two players that are... St bah. Vlaovic started all of them. Cambiaso, except of one where he entered in the second half, he played all of them. And uh, usually he's also playing 90 minutes, so it's a player that is never resting. But uh, Cambiaso is a certainty. He's just the other one that we need to understand who it is. But Savona, I'm super happy for him. I'm happy to have these both choices, Cabal Savona. We know that at the moment they are not yet at the perfection, but having these two players with perspective, um, I'm happy. Also because I believe in these young players that are giving everything for the shirt, that wants to prove themselves, that know that they are not there yet and that they have a lot of work. No, no, good, good, good that we are giving them chances. Then super happy 
for the midfield, Locatelli Turam, especially when we are playing in a 4 2 3 1. I don't like when we are playing. 4-1-4-1 with Turam that is a bit more advanced than Locatelli in the back. But if we continue to go towards what we saw the last games, 4-2-3-1, double pair in front of the defense, Turam and Locatelli, I'm extremely happy. I believe absolutely in meritocracy, in uh, everyone has equal chances to play, to start, the 25 players that are showing in training session. I love that philosophy of Thiago Motta, but I believe that at a certain moment of the season, more you go towards it, you need a bit of certainties. And yes, the training session is important. The behavior on the field, of the field, is extremely important to show that you want to start, that you deserve to start. But at a certain moment when you did these kind of things and you are giving continuity also on the field by playing and showing that you deserve to play thanks to the game performance that you did the game before and the game, uh, game before working with pairs well it's good to give them continuity Locatelli started the season really good dropped a bit was back and he's playing actually I think we can say that at the moment and I don't want to jinx it but at the moment we see one of the best Locatelli in Bianconero so it's totally normal that he continues to play there in pair with the Turam that we were waiting for him and after that injury he's starting really to go in crescendo 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 a goal non-goal whatever who cares it's thanks to him beautiful second half also against Lille for a player that is uh, more and more present that you feel it you now you feel that Turam is there in, there were some games where you said he's there He's not there. We don't see. Now he's there. And that's super important, uh, that continuity. Wea on the right side. I'm super happy with Wea because if it's a player that last year we didn't understand who he was, what he could give. Um, it's a player that this season started immediately well. I believe he scored in the first game of Serie A before being injured at the 45th minute. Uh, but then he's giving a lot. He already scored three goals in Serie A, also against Inter, a player that... Uh, uh, feels well, receive the confidence, the trust of Thiago Motta, a player that has a really beautiful combo with Conceição, for example, when he starts on the left, but also when he's playing on the right, a player that uh, grew a lot with Allegri defensively as well. So it's a player that, according to me, this season is really showing that he deserves to play and I'm happy. I would have started, I told you already, I would have started him already against Lille. Then at the end, we went with Concesao. Concesao that played well as well against Lille. So it's good. Good to have these choices there. But we are starting Concesao on the bench. Am I pissed off with that? No, because I think that Concesao is also a player that you can really put in in the second half. Or yield this out with Wea that drops on the left and Concesao on the right. Or you put Concesao with Wea that is resting. You can Or Wea that goes into that number nine role with Vlaovic resting. You can do a lot there huh? so we are there I'm, I'm happy i'm really happy cope miners is there we are expecting a big performance of a turn cope miners like we are always expecting from him another one also for yield this look uh tomorrow is the birthday of alessandro del piero the 9th of november he's celebrating 50 years um would it be beautiful for kenan Yildiz to score uh one of the goals like Del Piero scored in Derby della Mole alla, alla Ilza, alla Del Piero, whoever we cares, would be a romantic story, eh? yeah? Yeah, um, je le sens, I feel it. Eh. And then Dusan Vlaovic, again, I, I don't understand when people are saying, eh, beh, beh, Dusan, when he will, who cares when he will rest? As long as he's in form, as long as he has minutes in his legs, as long as his energy, he needs to play because he's our only solution at the moment. And he's happy when he plays. Now, we go to our second part of the, of the video. Savona called up with the Azzurri. Uh, I'm extremely happy. I'm extremely happy. The... The journey of uh, Nicolo Savona is extremely beautiful. I remember, seriously, uh, the 3rd of May, 2024, I have a live Twitch with uh, Nicolo. We are there, we are speaking, and uh, at a certain moment I tell him, I, 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 you didn't score yet, you will see, because now the playoffs will start and you will score. The day after, boom, he scored. Uh, and I always joke with him, telling him, you know, it's thanks to me that you start having a career because uh, I unlocked your potential, your thing. But uh, anyway, I have absolutely nothing to see with that. Nicolo is impressing, is really impressing in, uh, the, the, in six months, actually, because from May, we did that uh, next-gen life where he scored zero goals with professional career, but he was already, because for a defender, the goal is not the most important thing, but he was already proving some things and then finishing with the Azzurri first team. Uh, and in the middle, he went to the Ritiro in Herzogen Aurach, starting with Juve, scoring with Juve, being called up with the Azzurini under 21. Now it's that playing Champions League. Oh, 
guys, what a beautiful journey for Nicolò. Uh, bravo. Gatti will be there. Cambiaso as well. Again, a no for Locatelli. At this point, guys, uh, at this point, uh, what can I tell you? Probably there were some words between Spalletti and Locatelli, and as long as Spalletti will be there, no Locatelli. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, I, I want to come back every time on it, but you know it. I will repeat every time the same thing. And what about Di Gregorio? Di Gregorio, he was there last time. This time, he went for three goalkeepers that are Meret, uh, Donnarumma and uh, Vicario it's tough huh? because Italy has always a tradition of a really good goalkeepers I believe especially Vicario and Donnarumma uh, being there is totally normal then it's a fight between Meret or Di Gregorio let's see what about the press conference of Thiago Motta I will go really fast about it he spoke about the absences and that's probably the thing that uh we didn't cover yet, that is annoying, because this morning in the video I said uh, during that international break, and especially when we start back, I'm counting a lot on Douglas Lewis. Well, um, he took responsibility on it, Thiago Motta, because he said he was not 100% ready to travel with the team to Lille. It was my request to the player, it was my request to the J Medicals, to the doctors, to have him to actually accelerate his comeback and integrate the team. But today he didn't feel 100% well, so we will not risk him. I don't want to risk him and he will not play tomorrow. So Douglas Ruiz, no. Is he again injured? No, but he's not at 100% and we don't want to risk him to having again after the international break where he will be two weeks now in Torino in La Continassa. And that's one. We know already about Nico Gonzalez. There were some people that were hoping to see him. No, he will not be there tomorrow. Bremer, Milik, we know. And the annoying, really, really annoying thing is uh, that uh, this morning there was a little problem with uh, Adzic. Uh, they need to evaluate the condition, but tomorrow he will not be there. It's, I hope it's not uh, serious. I hope it's not something um, annoying for the kid because he doesn't deserve it. Dai, ragazzi. You arrive, you are 18 years old, you want to break the world, you want to show the world, you have so much potential, so much will, and then you have these little things that are breaking your... your I'm not saying that he needs to be a starter at Juve today, but it's a player that wants to show and there is nothing worse than not being able to show it because of injuries. So that's one about the injuries. Then there was, of course, that question about the fact that Thiago Mota started to play when he was a young player in Brazil with a club Atletico de Juventus. So he already played with Juve in the past. But it was a Juventus, Club Atletico de Juventus, that was playing with a Granata shirt, so with a grenade shirt, the color of uh, the shirt of Torino, really strange. Uh, Juventus playing with the colors of Torino. He said, yeah, yeah, of course, uh, uh, I remember that it was uh, in the past. Uh, of course, I couldn't imagine that one day I would have uh, trained, coached a derby della mole, but uh, I'm extremely happy, I'm extremely honored. Uh, at the time, I was a young kid with a lot of ambitions. Today, I am at the right moment, at the right place. I love that. Uh, you know, that's something that I always say, eh? being at the right moment, at the right place is super important. He spoke about the five different captains that we had this season because the question came from Fabiana Della Valle, Gatti, Bremer, Cambiaso, Locatelli, Danilo. What does it take to be a captain in this Juventus? He said, tutto, everything. You need tutto. I bisogno di tutto. You need everything to become a, a, a captain of Juventus, to being able to transmit what we want to be and what we are at the moment, to be an example, to be able to lead the team. So important words about that captaincy and these guys that receive that armband, they deserve, they show that they deserve to wear it because they incarnate the values that we want to share. He spoke about uh, the derby, a derby that... Uh, uh, you need to pay attention because the past doesn't matter. You know, today I could bring you a lot of statistics that in the last so many years we didn't lose a Derby de la Mole, especially not at uh, home. The past doesn't count. Derby is a special game. What about Locatelli said he deserves. He deserves it absolutely because it's thanks to him. If tomorrow, no, not tomorrow. He said if now at the moment he's starting is because he deserves it 100%. It's a period that had a moment of down. He's back with down because he was not playing he didn't accept it he was not happy about not playing but he's a player that is offering a lot a player that knows what it is to have that behavior in a training session a guy that uh, if it happens again he needs to take it in a positive way and to continue to work because it's a player that is doing well but i believe so tiago motta says i believe that he can do even better he's even more potential in manuel locatelli and then the last question that was a bit strange about uh you know the journalist said, uh, you said that you are here um, at the right moment, at the right place. 
are you here to stay or something like that a bit strange question it was the last question i think that uh, the journalist also had another question in mind he had to change it last minute so he went with that one it was a really strange one because at the end what do you want him to say but uh tiago mota said absolutely i'm here to stay you know when i signed here i have the ambition to stay here many 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 years but honestly i'm not even uh thinking too much about it at the moment i'm focusing on uh, the present at the moment game by game by game on the things to do on the daily things to do and i try to do it at the best that i can not always being successful or succeeding in the things that i want to do so again also today he repeated also being that responsibility being part of the team also putting him in front of uh that line saying you know i'm part of it and i'm when we are doing mistake they are doing mistake but i'm doing mistakes as well Oh, I got it. That was for the press conference for the predicted lineup. Let me know if you agree with the predicted lineup. That could possibly be the one that will be on the field against uh, uh, Torino tomorrow. What about Savona? Let me know your comments. I'm curious to read you because I don't feel 100% well. My neck is still hurting. I start to have a bit of fever. So let me know in the comment section so that at least this evening I'm reading you and uh, try to answer you. Grazie, forza. Juve. Ciao.